Okay, so we're gonna just put some shaving cream on my buddy here, and uh, we're just gonna kind of give him a tune-up here all the way around here. Just put a little bit of shaving cream on him, and I'm just gonna get me a nice hot steam towel. So when it comes to these towels, they're extremely hot. So I kind of just air them out just for a moment. Just for a moment. I even test it on my arm. Test it on my arm there just a little bit. And I'm just gonna place. Careful not to touch the lips. The lips are a little sensitive here. And we're just gonna hold that down just for a moment there. And while that's steaming, I'm just gonna change my blade here. All right. And it usually takes about a minute to soften the skin. Give them a nice little steam there. As you can tell, the face is reddening there. And I'm gonna start by working down in this area here. I'm gonna get a little bit more shaving cream. Okay, so as some of you know, uh, go ahead and lift your chin up a little bit. Thank you, sir. Hair at this point right here grows in two different directions, coming down, down to about this point, and the rest from this point to the center going up. So I'm just gonna start from the middle here, stretch his skin, and I'm gonna cut it right about to the center there. Stretching the skin. Stretching the skin. Because everything grows that direction and we like to go with the direction of the hair growing. Now, I'm gonna come this way here. Same thing on this side here. Going down here, down to about the center of the throat. Now just coming up this direction here meeting at the center there. There we go. Now I'm gonna follow the curvature of his beard line here. Moving the shaving cream out of the way. Stretching the skin. Stretching the skin there. Stretching the skin. And what I'm using at this point, as far as the blade is concerned, I'm using the entirety of the blade. Sometimes when barbers cut different areas, they're probably just using just the corner or just the center or what is considered the back, but I'm using the entirety of the blade here, as you can see here. The entirety of it, all of it. And I have found that if you gently go over it, Patiently and gently going over it one more time. You get a nice extra clean finish here. And this area here is one of those areas right here. It's just kind of difficult for some people because they're just afraid to get too close to the lip, which is a little frightening. I recommend if you're just not too 
confident or certain, just add a little moisture, maybe just wet your finger like this a little bit and, and just dab that a tiny bit, just a little bit, because all you really need is a little bit of moisture there, okay? And just watch how I push his lip up against his teeth. Now, I don't think he's feeling any discomfort because at this point, he's almost kind of relaxed. So if you can, if you can tell, I'm just doing this kind of a motion right here, and I recommend to go as tight and hard as you possibly can because if you're too and you're kind of shaking, that's just a little, you know? So I'm just gonna push there and I'm using the back of the blade here. Like so. Now for this little corner, I'm gonna use the front of the blade. Pressing that skin, pressing the lip against his teeth. As you can see that there. Pressing against his teeth and using the back of the blade, which is this part right here. For this corner, using the front of the blade, which is right here. And just pushing in with pressure there. Okay, same on this side. Just gonna use a little bit of moisture. I'm just gonna wet just a tiny bit. You could put shaving cream there from somewhere else if you want, or just a little bit of water. This is one of those areas that are just so, so difficult to overcome, especially if you're a barber student. This is like the most frightening area in which you want to. And then right here, of course, the Adam's apple. That's very scary, too. So same thing. Putting pressure against his teeth. And for that, as you can tell, I use the front of the blade right there. Front of the blade. Pressure, pressure, still using the front of the blade. There we go. All right, so next step is we're gonna kind of clean up right over this here, right over the lip. So I'm just gonna wet my hands a little bit. Wet his lip a little bit. I'm gonna turn him facing me. And I'm gonna use the center of the blade. This is the center of the blade right there, the middle, right here. Center of the blade. Stretching. And the key is stretching. This is weird, but I'm going to pull up his nose. So I'm going to pull it up just a little bit. And that's the scariest part right there. Stretching the skin. And if it ever comes to a point and you just feel not too confident that you're able to pull this off, don't hesitate to ask your customer, sir, can you please tighten your upper lip there for me? See the difference? He's awake, he's alive, he's paying attention. And this is also very helpful as well. And if you can tell, I'm using the center of my blade, which is right there. I think that was very helpful, but he tightened his lip. There we go. Thank you, Hector. Thank you so much. Okay, so we're going to take a break from this area here. I'm going to kind of pat him down with the coolness of the towel. At this point, the towel is already cooled down. And now I'm gonna work on the forehead area and I'm gonna finish this up with just a little bit of water here, just, just a little bit of water. And then I'm gonna be pulling that way and just finishing that up here. And while I, throughout the process of his haircut, I already kind of edged him up, but this is kind of like a finishing touch right here. Stretching the skin. And 
and just pulling towards me here. I think this is pretty cool to be able to go over this extra detail, take the extra mile for your customer and give them the crispiest, most cleanest edge up you possibly can. I've seen a lot of videos on YouTube where they use a lot of cosmetic and stuff to kind of draw some line in, and that's really cool too. But I'm just trying to demonstrate the most natural way to cut with just the razor, shaving cream, water, and skin. Putting pressure almost on this top eyebrow here, pushing it away. I'm just pulling that in. Work my way down here. And then we'll clean this up here. And even at this point, there's no need to put any more shaving cream or moisture because his skin is already softened up by all the work we've been doing for so long. As you can see, I'm getting the most minute, minute details here. There we go, thank you. Now this side, just double checking. Okay, we're gonna take a pause there gonna cool off his skin because I, by this time the hot steam towel has turned into a nice cool towel and that should be it thank you very much